so proud being black homeowners. Yes. I want to thank God. Thank I want to thank mom, dad, my sister, grandma. Rest in peace, Marguerite Crawford. Wouldn't, wouldn't be here if it wasn't for this She's woman right here. <laughs> We did it, Grandma. We did it. Yes. Oh, I thank God. I thank God. Oh, thank God. This is your time. This is your moment. You gotta claim me. Right now, I'm gonna try to make that a little office area. In due time, right now, that's been kind of a remote study room, <laughs> remote learning room. Let me talk to him. Still working. Sick area here. Kick back, pull up, get some drinks in us. So, so. Watch a little football. We'll get a bigger TV later. This is just right at the moment. That's some right. Shots pull up. The more drinks you have, the bigger your eyes get. Some right. TV look big regardless. Right. That's all we'll we'll get good. back. Reflect. We'll Sometimes I just sit down here and give me a little drink. Lesson accepted. Close eyes to rest with you. God make miracles. No lies detected. Hard to keep faith. I had to pray a little more. Had to think a little more. Had to grow a little more. Bitter people hold on to years of resentment. Being happy when you don't fake or pretend it. Exquisite. Change credit score to homeowners. Did remote learning while battling Corona. Me and wife Bonnie and Clyde, yes, survive. Courtesy of God, new home we reside. Thank mom, dad, sister, and Dorothy Witcher. Grandma, we did it. If you're listening, know I miss you. Alright, now we're gonna get to the camera. You know what I'm saying? I just want to say it, it, it's true. It's truly a blessing for everybody to be here together as one, as one unit, and I, I appreciate that everybody that made their own way to come out here and to be so supportive through this process and even beyond beyond this home, like, just in life, as us as children, growing up, now as adults, we appreciate it, we love y'all, and there, there are some people that were supportive here that's not, not here, and, you know, Marguerite Crawford, my grandmother, I, I, I appreciate everything, everybody, I love y'all. Let's celebrate. You know, black people can do anything that you want to want to do. Anything is possible. And there's so many categories of, of topics we could go on and on. But it's good to see excellence and seeing that we can do anything. We we can do anything. Home smile with some pride when I wake up. Look at wife's ass while she putting on her makeup. Yes. Much more than life than yes. white nights Versace. Brand names we copy, iPhones, Bugatti. Yes. Son, daughter, know how did daddy make moves? You can be at the bottom, don't mean you still lose. Tell me what you sipping on, do say a henne. So rock vodka, cavassier or rimé. Plenty feel free with the homies laughing, roasting. Today a celebration, joy felt to motions. More like to live, yet many times we sin. But today shine your light in due time for you. Yes. You can do anything. You know, we just out here, out here living, you know, we only been here, well, roughly, what, six months, but we making it shake, making it shake, got the little, got the little wood popping, maybe later tonight, sit back, you know, pour some drinks. Jacuzzi on the way coming soon to be continued. It's the, the setup is in place.
Now we just gotta get the jacuzzi there. That's on the way. Ooh. What we got here, I guess they had a roller hockey thing going right here, but we're gonna change that to a court. We're gonna have to level a few feet higher right here so it's even and make a court. Cause ain't nobody playing volleyball for real. We're gonna take them down. This is the pool. I've learned a lot about pools for real, so making it do what it do. It's a process on some cleaning shit, but you learn, you know what I'm saying? Okay, Dre about to get in there. Jump in. <laughs> Go ahead, jump in. They say it's a lot easier if you jump in, and then you feel better. Hey. You feel better, don't you? <laughs> yep. Every time. Let me pull that. Uh, anyway, I'm going to pull this robot out of here. Not that it ain't safe, because, hell, I was doing that shit all the time, but still safe at first. But uh, the owner before here, I guess they only swim in it like a couple times. So I left us with everything. Can't nobody say there ain't no chlorine in this motherfucker. You see bottles like a motherfucker. I was putting chlorine like a motherfucker in here. So you gonna be clean when you get up out this bitch. <laughs> oh, you all right? Yeah. Oh. Oh, damn. <laughs> you alright? Alright, you gotta be careful, man. One step at a time. It's all good. This is a motherfucking 500 600 dollars robot right here, man. Just keep the bottle flow clean. Picks up all the debris and leaks on the ground, so you got that crystal clear shit on the bottom. It's not quite crystal clear right now, because I did this shit at the last minute. It's all good. It's called the Dolphin. Not that off-brand knockoff shit, like, just that top brand clean your pool and you can go fuck around, have a drink or twist one up. You know what I'm saying? This that good shit. I'm gonna go ahead and let that home rest right there. You know what I'm saying? Some good, nice, not no cheap pump. You know what I'm saying? That's some good shit right there. But yeah, man, it's just reflecting. I was at a dark place in my life and you know when people be like afraid to get married and afraid to take chances in serious relationships, I truly feel it's almost, I don't wanna say like a good luck charm, but it's more like a real blessing. Like you receive many blessings. And like I had this conversation with a uh, big homie K. Riley. And he told me things kind of happen in circles. You know what I'm saying? Things go good and things go bad, but it revolves. It evolves, you know what I'm saying? So, I went from a situation where I left out a situation with complete nothing and felt like nothing. And it took a lot of prayer, going to church, and having personal relationships with God. Not saying I'm where I need to be, but it helped walk me through situations. Then he blessed me with a best friend, a girlfriend, and then wife, Tierra. And we kind of feed off each other. There's things that she might not have known that helped her. The things that I didn't know, you know what I'm saying, that helped me, that she do, don't have it. And she taught me a lot. And blessings started coming, man. It just started coming real quick to where our credit scores bounced up. You know, mom and dad helped us. Her mom and dad helped us. My mom and dad helped us. Like, it was just everybody involved as a unit. And that's what it takes, I think, to help young couples and shit. Like, you need your whole family to kind of work together with you on certain things. It's not necessary, but it helps to have a unit with you. To learn about credit and having to pay things off. 
and that it really helps. And like I was like, I'm not gonna be able to get a house within a few months. And then I, my credit score, jumped. it's just it's a process. You gotta treat it like how you used to treat football and hoop growing up. You know what I'm saying? Or anything you was competitive with, like this rap shit. You gotta treat it like getting your credit score, cause it ain't hard if you willing to buy Jordans every every month, every release. Sit back for six months. Don't get no J's. Pay off something that's $800, $1,200 on your credit. It sounds stupid as fuck. You call them, you negotiate the deal. That $1,200 price on a credit card would be like $600 or $700. You negotiate with them on the phone. You just call the numbers. Go to Credit Karma. It's free. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not like talking shit because I'm still learning. I'm still learning how to do this. And I just want to let people know anything's possible. And sometimes I'm a realist person. I be like, I like, I believe in God. I do, but I, I believe in reality in certain situations at the moment too. To be like, not that I, I, I question God, but you know, sometimes I be like, I gotta look at what I gotta do today, right now. You know what I'm saying? And it's okay to think like that, but you really gotta try to intertwine that faith in God with the two, even if it really seems like it's impossible. There's no way. Like definitely, I plead to y'all to really have conversations with God. It's not all about going to church, but, but really building a friendship mentally with God, man. If I can't get any influence off y'all, like please do that. Because I'm still learning. I'm still learning how to be a husband. I'm still learning how to be a better father. And there's certain things that's still incomplete that I want with my daughter to be involved with all this. But sometimes it takes more than one parent to do things. And that's a conversation they, you know, people don't want to have, but people can't walk in your shoes either. And that's what I would tell them or anybody else. You need two parents to work together on certain things. Sometimes compromise won't even, you can compromise and be 30, uh, 60, 40, and you be the 40 and it just won't be enough. But that's a whole nother conversation later. Things will work out, just be patient, take my time. You know, this is my homie Joe, and we had started this rap shit a long time ago, man. How many years has been? I don't know, bro, but 05, man. Like, and I actually learned how to spit from this nigga right here. I mean, I tell you, you got a catalog, you, you just, talk any topic he gonna rap all night long man he got bars for days man like when i say like when i say this assassin shit like he, he's like the co-founder right here you know what i'm saying he helped he helped move this shit made this shit possible him and renzo big homie frank white that ain't here he out handling business getting to the money i felt like i said that on the last interview he always getting to the money you know what i'm saying but us three together, man, we made something powerful. Then I.O. came, made something powerful, you know. But we just worked hard, man. And I just, I feel like if you put your heart into something, something gonna shake. You might not reach the dream, you might not reach the goal, but something gonna shake to some type of satisfaction. To where we, we out here in swimming pools, man. Oh, oh, I wish you would've caught that. My nigga, my, hey, hey, the filter spit up water. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> the filter spit up water. I ain't never seen a filter do that. Man. Hey, you got all the leaves out the filter. Look, that's how I do it. Hey, it's talking, look. It's talking. That shit talking like a motherfucker. Right? <laughs> like it got lips. One more leaf. <laughs> he did the job. Yeah, yeah, we out here living, man. Like, and I say, I'm just so happy that my mom came out of town from Chicago, and I want to mention my grandmother. During the COVID, she played a big part in helping, helping us financially seal this deal when the owners could have been losing patience and could have gave up. It took us 60 days to close on this house. Usually they want you done 30, 45, and they just kept waiting and being patient with us, the owners here. And my grandma played a big role 
was helping financing and you know she later passed away during COVID. And it's like, man, she, she's a part of me, she's a part of us. Uh, I'm just sometimes looking back, I can't believe we 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 doing this like to some people in the world this is small. Uh, that's why I'm not trying to act like we on some on some big time shit or nothing like but I just know anything's possible and this is this is the shit for me. This is what's popping for me. This is what makes me happy. This ain't like oh I I don't think I'm better than nothing there's still things we got it we still trying to hit those still we trying to hit things we still trying to do yeah man dutchy out here killing it killing it in the film game right now and i i will hope anybody that need to get work done for my nigga like please he's one of the best he's like he's flexible he will work with you and he you know see this is a business so Respect his business, you know what I'm saying? Respect, respect his grind. Because there's a lot of people in the city that you don't want to deal with on this film shit. So fuck with my nigga Dutch, man. Whether it's on the music shit or weddings or ceremonies or get togethers, photography. He do movies, he do skits, he do commercials. Whether you got a, uh, a business or you a young woman trying to have a business, young man, he can do anything, anything. Trust me, I try to work with the best, and he's the best. He, he coded me. Yep, we out, we out. Until the next scene, next cut.